Jasper, what a feeling. We're through to a prelim. Tell us about it. Yeah, unbelievable feeling, um, especially after that first half. We, we, uh, we didn't really play the footy we liked in the first half, but we, we were still in it somehow, probably um, a few points from them, kept us in it, and um, we, just, we just wanted to go. If it was going to be our last game, we wanted to go out having a real crack, and it uh, turned out we got over the top, and unbelievable. Um, it was hard keeping a lid on it, um, but you know we've still got two more weeks uh, to go, so really pumped. What happened in the first half, and I guess what did you do differently in the second half that, that changed the game? Um, uh, we were probably a little bit overwhelmed, I suppose by the by the moment and, and their uh, tenacity at the footy in the, in the first half. Um, they're such a great outfit and um, their, their mids, really big and strong, just probably got on top of us. And um, yeah, we're on the back foot a bit, not playing brave. As soon as the, we, we sort of settled down at half time, we came out, um, we played really brave and I thought our mids were outstanding, getting the um, probably contest possession right up to where we need it to be. You, yourself, you had a, a fantastic game running off half back. They've got some dangerous little forwards down there, Frio. Um, tell us about your game and um, what did Kenny say to you after the game? Yeah, uh, probably my, uh, like much of the team, the first half was, you know, we're, we're all over the shop, uh, myself included. But uh, I thought just as a, as a back six, we really um, fought hard in that second half and, um, you know, just won some really good one on one battles. And I, I just tried to play my role and do my job. I wasn't really too worried about. Yeah, worrying about getting heaps of the ball. I just wanted to lock down on um, Walters, who was my opponent for most of the time, and um, stop him. Um, and yeah, just you know, a few opportunities I had to, to run and carry the ball, I tried to take them. And uh, yeah, Kenny, Kenny was um, relatively pleased. I haven't had a huge chat with him, but he, he was relatively pleased. Robbie Gray's third quarter, but of four goals. Have you seen a better individual quarter of footy than that? Yeah, look, he's had a great year, and I just think. When, when you've got players who step up like that, and he'll be the first to admit, um, like many, that probably the first half he was um, not playing that well, but to come out, and, um, and that's why he's in the leadership group. Sometimes it's not all about what you say on the field and this or that, it's about actually standing up and um, getting us back in the game. And four goals, and I thought Chad Wingard, you know, really led the way as well, um, and, and the skipper, of course, who was getting a hard tag. And, um, yeah, you know, it's moments like that, and Ollie Wines, who just, they're, they're big game players, and um, if, you know, we need them playing well next week as well. Hawthorne, I guess the, the attention will turn there pretty quickly. Um, how big a challenge is that, and then what do we need to look for next week? Oh, it's going to be massive. Um, obviously, they're the reigning premiers, and um, they've had the week off. They're probably in the box seat um, as far as getting into a grand final is, but, you know, like, uh, we've got um, nothing to worry about in terms of. I suppose we're going to be underdogs to a certain degree and um, we've just got to get it come out with no fear, similar like we did in the second half tonight and just have a crack. Um, we, we beat them earlier in the year, I, I know they had a few outs, but we feel like we can beat any team in the competition and um, I think you know we, we've got our best team in at the moment, so there's no reason why we, we, we uh, if we play the right way and defend really well, we, we can't take them all the way. Thanks very much Jasper, enjoy the win and go on us up. Thanks mate.